Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com. Amazing new information from Amy Mongin, University of Manitoba, a new study. It's not all put together, but she presented the data at, at MAC, the Manitoba Agricultural Conference. I talked a little bit about it at the Saskatoon Agronomy Conference as well. Dissolved urea, foliar applied to the wheat crop to make protein. So some really cool stuff. First off, you talk about nitrogen on wheat and we know protein. Right now, the price of wheat in the sewer, the price of protein, wow, the premiums are going through the roof. So we really got to focus in on trying to make that protein. At the end of the day, there's a simple rule about protein. The later you put nitrogen on in the wheat crop, the more it goes to protein, the less it goes to yield. So we talked about post anthesis nitrogen. This is what we're talking about here. And so in Amy's research, what's really intriguing is that the urea, the dissolved urea, which they use all the time in the UK, in Europe, it's a standard product to put on post anthesis. They use it all the time because it doesn't burn as much. So, Here's some pictures. You can see that where we put 28% on with flat fan nozzles. Now this is 28% that is actually cut to half strength. So it's not 28%, it's 14%. Look at the amount of burn. By the way, I would never, 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 never put 28% on with flat fan nozzles. It's a North Dakota recommendation. I just think the injury is too, hard, too high. And by the way, it did cost yield and it didn't get as much protein. I would use streamer nozzles. Nonetheless, here we have urea, dissolved urea, put on, again, 30 pounds of nitrogen, same as the 28, flat fan nozzles. Now it's a 9% solution, so it's not full strength, but no injury whatsoever, and statistically significantly more protein out of the dissolved urea than we got out of the 28%. So this is a cool thing to play with. Some real concerns about making dissolved urea. There's a, a fact sheet on how to make it, we've got it linked here, but you add 4.51 pounds per gallon of urea. That's the saturated solution. Can't get more than that. That will make 21% nitrogen. Amy used 9%, so roughly half strength, but most of us don't want to truck that much water. So we're going to go out there at the 21%. Couple of watch outs. One, buy urette in the urea. It's a, it's a, byproduct of the manufacturing process. Most of the North American producers, they take the biuret out. If you get offshore urea, if it has high biuret, more than 1%, you can burn the wheat. We'll make those 28% pictures look, look like they're amazingly good, not amazingly bad. It's awful. The other big issue is doing this. You know, you think about dissolving urea into water, it's no big deal. Well, guess what? It's a huge deal because it's endothermic. It pulls t heat out of the water and we've actually, when we tried to dissolve urea at the sprayer, putting it in through the chemical induction, we froze the line. That's how endothermic it, it is. So you really have to try to start with warm water and it takes time and agitation to get there. So if you don't have a heat source, make sure you have a tank that you let equilibrate at air temperature for a little while. Don't try to do it all at the same time. You pull it out of the ground. It's just not enough heat in that water. Nonetheless, really cool because getting over 1% protein bump from 30 pounds of nitrogen on 100 bushel wheat Wow, that's incredible. This is something you need to look at as long as protein premiums are high. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, grow quality wheat.